I um, wanted to do, I took off my nail stuff yesterday and I didn't even get a response honestly. Like I haven't posted the video that I filmed yesterday. I'm waiting until tomorrow because it's 4th of July today and I didn't have any fun 4th of July stuff and to prep and edit and everything it's going to be like Monday or Tuesday when I get this one up. So happy 4th of July even though it's already happened and I hope you were safe and didn't get any injuries with fire stuff. Um, anyway, so I have no clue if you even want to see this or not, but I figured I enjoy looking at nail tutorials. My friend, who is a Jamberry consultant, she was showing me this, and she knows I'm a, I play guitar, and so I, I tried out the Jamberry things, and they're really cute, and they were super fun, and I wish they would have worked out for me, but they didn't because I play guitar. And so I play guitar a lot, and with just strum my little heart out and stuff, like they just get, they come off. And so what I do is I use Gelish, well, all sorts of gel polishes. I don't use just Jellish. I've actually found a new new company now that I really like. There's shellac out there. Jellish is the one I started with and had forever and ever. And I now am in, it's called Madame Glam. I don't know if it's Madame Glam. No, it's not Madame Glam. <laughs> it's Madame Glam. No, or is it Madame Glam? I think it's Madame Glam. I don't know. I don't know. How do you say the name? I don't know. It looks like this. It's a black bottle and it's the most brilliant packaging ever because, okay, on the Jellish packaging, oh, 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 I just scratched my, my fingernail like on a, like going this way like a chalkboard. Anyway, okay, Jellish has these little windows so you can see the color, but they, if you, like right now, it's very, I can't, I have to film this at a certain time because if the sun gets on them, it cures in this little window. I made the horrible mistake when I first started. I was like, oh, I'm going to bask in the sunlight and do my nails and my brush like hardened like really fast. And I was like, what's going on? And I didn't realize that the sun is UV and it will cure the nail. Uh, the, the nail polish. So anyway, this package is brilliant because it's all black and chic and awesome. And on the top, what they've done is they they have this little plastic thing that they actually stick the actual nail polish on the top and cure it on these little plastic things and pop them on the top. And I guess I could zoom in. Um, I could try to here. I have to go back and forth. So oh, I don't want to do that. I'll do that. I'm gonna do another video. I forgot the the the, the magical mystery of video is that I can actually put in another video in this video and I can stick it somewhere. I don't know where I'll stick it, but I'll try to get another clip of this and try to stick it up there so that you can see how freaking awesome this um, packaging is. It's awesome. For people who like gel polish, it's really cool. And they have this, this in particular, this color is called Stardust. Oh my gosh, like they're glitters. I have had a lot of glitters from different gel companies and um, this, these glitters are like, they're legit. They're no joke. Two coats, you're like, bling! All that because uh, my friend has Jamberry stuff, can't use Jamberry, love gels and so I try to do fun nail art stuff uh, with the gels and this this one was called it's the sister style July 2015 and it looks like watercolor drops on white and so I'm like I'm gonna try it and because she was like I bet you can't do that <laughs> it was like she just dropped the gauntlet and I am on a challenge now to try to do it <laughs> It was all in good fun for great, but um, anyway. So yeah, that's what I would like to show you. I am sorry for the long intro. I really do, I gab and I'm sorry. And for some reason, I feel connected to you. So I gab a lot and I'm sorry. I'm now going to get into the nail stuff. All right, see ya. So a fly decided to take a swim in my coffee while I was filming the intro. Thanks, thanks a lot. 
Um, so what I'm doing now is just cutting my nails off, my talons off. My sound guy said that my nails are too loud when I'm playing the guitar. He can hear them through the speakers. So I have to cut them short, short, short. So I'm doing that, and then I'm going to shape them. And then another important thing is to buff them so that all the shine and um, all is gone so that your foundation will adhere better. Then you're going to want to take 91% um, alcohol on a lint-free pad. You can get those at Sally's for a few bucks, and they last forever. Um, if you're, you know, sparing, of course, um, but just kind of get all the oil and residue off your nail so that the foundation again will adhere better. Um, after you get all the oils and stuff off, let them dry real good. Um, you'll kind of see they're kind of chalky looking and then you're going to add foundation. I'm using Gelish foundation right now. I have not purchased yet the Madame Glam or however you say it <laughs> foundation yet, but the key to any foundation is just super thin coats. You want thin coats. And I even go back and just keep wiping off gel that I pull off the nail. I'm carrying with my new Melody Susie lamp that I just got. It's 24 watts it's 12 2 watt bulbs and it is amazing i would highly suggest you looking at this lamp basically it's amazing you should check it out now i am taking pure white by banam glam and i'm doing one coat and just kind of covering what i can capping the edges and curing for 30 seconds and then i'm going to do a second coat this white is awesome because it is a two coat white you do not need three coats it is completely opaque and two coats um, and to be quite honest, this next part, I <laughs> tried to use regular nail polish and it totally didn't work. So I'm using the gel polish. So I'm getting some bright colors that I like. And then I flopped them or put a blob of them on the um, baggie. And then you take acetone and kind of thin it out and just push down with a brush. What you're going to try to do is make this effect of watercolor where you have a thin light color and the dark outer edges. Um, that's kind of artistically what we're trying to do is just make different colors and making kind of like a sheer light color and then make the ring around those edges. And the way that you achieve that look is by um, taking an art brush and then using acetone to kind of create that look on your nail. So after a few colors, I cure and then kind of just keep layering some different bright colors on top. And you just notice how I'm just kind of squishing down the brush. I'm just literally squishing, squish, 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 squish to make that um, look. I think I had, I think I decided to not use that blue. That's the awesome thing about Gelish is that you can totally, with non-acetone um, uh, remover, nail polish remover, you can totally just take off what you don't like so I'm getting there and then I decided after that look that I wanted to add some shimmer pardon my cuticles oh my god that looks bad um whoa that's horrible I added some shimmer it's kind of it's called a champagne from Gelish and it just kind of really added a fun look to it and so I just added that on top cured it for I think 30 seconds or so and then I added foundation. I didn't film that part because I totally messed up. There you go. There's my nails. Woo! That's over. Oh my gosh. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. But um, I think that's probably the most intense thing I've ever done freehand. Usually I just do stamping and glitter and I'm done. I don't usually do things freehand. So because I was blobbing, that's the only reason it worked because I don't I cannot do the you know like a Chinese doll painter they like tiny tiny little you know I guess it was one of those things where I was I felt like go big or go home so I hope I haven't set a standard because I might probably not gonna be doing that again but it was pretty and it was fun and um, when I figured it out I hope you enjoyed it and I'm sorry if it's too long of a video I'm trying to keep them shorter I'm sorry um, but anyway, I'm going to clean up my mess now. You have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye. Hello. My name is Allie Brown, and we're going to discuss nails.